Good evening and welcome to the Night Hill Game of the Week here on Stream Sports Midwest. My partner Eric, Eric Willowite, myself, Aaron Shellen, and we are live from Fifth Third Arena here in Chicago for tonight's Phantom 14U Premier Select matchup between the home Chicago Stallions and the uh, Romeoville Huskies. We're about ready to get started here and Friday night game of the week. This is our first nighttime event and uh, it feels like a Friday night. Yeah, it definitely feels <laughs> like a Friday night. We got a lot of people uh, milling about here, uh, some with some uh, frosty beverages, if you will. Frosty Aaron. beverages, yes, yeah. sir. But uh, it, it is good to do. This is our first Friday night uh, game of the year, and uh, it's it's good. And our first game at Fifth Third Arena this year yeah. is for the season. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah. Let's take a look quickly as both teams are about ready to go here. Looks like we're going to get started a couple minutes early, so. We're gonna kind of run through some of the, the pregame stuff here quickly, but Huskies come in undefeated, 5-0. 33 goals for nine against in those five games. The Stallions looking for their first seeding round victory of the year, Eric, 0-7. 11 goals for 28 against. They played some close ones, including their last time out was a 2-1 loss to the Ice Dogs up at Glacier on the other side for the Huskies. Their last time out, a 9-1 thrashing of Dubuque over at Canlan in Romeoville. So this Huskies team has been playing some really, really good hockey here in the seeding rounds, while the Stallions still looking for that first victory of the seeding round. And you, you know, you, you just, you're unsure during seeding rounds, you know, maybe maybe they did this intentionally to, to kind of see where they stand against some of the other premier select yep. organizations. Uh, we've seen teams that maybe are seated a little higher than they should be. And maybe the Stallions are a little bit lower than they should be, but we are, about ready to get started here. So the Stallions in their black and gold, while the Huskies in their road blues with the dark blue stripes, white numbers. Huskies going right to left, Stallions left to right, 15 minute periods, and we are ready to go. This is Premier Select, this is the best of the best of the Bantams, the Huskies, and the Stallions are off and moving. This is Logan Dodson down low, feeds it to JT Webb behind the net. Webb, the backhand, turnaround shot, whistled in by Brody Beerbaum, and that gets through wow. the starting goaltender, Flynn Walker, on the first shot. And just like that, Eric, 19 seconds into the game, it's 1-0 Huskies. Yeah, there was a lot of traffic already in there, and that one gets by Flynn Walker. So Huskies picking up where they left off. Yep, didn't take much. They a nice nice break into the zone by Logan Dodson. He found JT Webb and all alone in front, turned around and fired it home. So one nothing, Huskies with the lead here 19 seconds in. Huskies will take possession of the puck at the blue line. Stallions now work it out into the neutral zone. Flip it forward, that's Jack Simpson trying to feed it through. Excuse me, that was Brody Beerbaum on the goal, Eric, not JT Webb, it was Brody Beerbaum who was standing out in front. He picked up the goal. JT Webb took the first shot and Beerbaum was there to pick up the loose change, as you like to say, yes. and turn around and throw it towards the net and put it home. So 19 seconds in, doesn't take much. We have a face off in the neutral zone here and that'll be Lucas Novak and Emmett Johnson for the Stallions, number 51, draws one by the Stallions in the offensive zone with it. That's uh, Drakakis, and Drakakis puts it on goal. And I think that may have been deflected, and that ends up in the back of the net, Eric. So this hasn't taken long. This is a quick 2 nothing Huskies lead. Yeah, I think, was that Tom Cho with that one? Was that Trestle Tom Cho, number 65, yeah, who was 65 down there? Yeah, was up front. I think, actually, I think he just tucked it between the pads. I don't think it was... Uh, Deflected, but um, either way, it's 2 nothing lead for the Huskies. Not an own goal, if you will, that was put no. through the five hole by Trestle Tomcho. So that's his that's his first goal, the second goal in the first minute. Most of these fans haven't even gotten halfway through their frosty beverage, right, and no. it's and it's 2 nothing Huskies here a minute into this one. Some have, though. <laughs> Some certainly have. It's Friday night, Eric. Yes. It's Friday night. Huskies again. Across the blue line with it, that's Novak. Novak walks in, a couple of whacks at it, and this time Walker's able to make the save. So not much re defensive resistance here in the early going by the Chicago Stallions. The Huskies are getting really anything they want here in the first 
70 seconds or so. Yeah, and, and that's going to be the challenge for the Stallions, obviously, is puck possession, having the puck to be able to get out of your zone. Draw to the right now of Flynn Walker. Stallions win it again, or excuse me, Huskies win it again behind the net with it. That's Jack Minyard in the near corner. Minyard pinned up against the glass. Puck is centered, comes out to Jamie Feidler. Feidler looking up ahead for Trace Houghton. Trace is able to clear it in deep. First chance for the Stallions to touch that pristine ice down in the offensive zone, but it's taken away by the Huskies, cleared out to center ice. And Ronan Shellhase throws it into the offensive zone for the Stallions. Have to wait for the line to clear, and that gives the Huskies a chance to regroup defensively. Play right down here in front of us, and we're on the opposite side of the rink as we've got the the, the, the sin bin, if you will, right down in front of us. It's usually on the other side. The shot in from the top, the near faceoff dot from Simpson, and Walker makes the save. So yeah, usually we have penalty boxes, timekeeper over on the other side of the rink. Here they're right down in front of us, so we'll be able to see exactly who the penalty's on. We'll be able to watch the interaction between the official and the scorekeeper. Yep. We should have mic'd up the refs. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. Draw here to the left, or excuse me, the right of Walker. One back to the point, shot from the point. That's Lucas Peterson, number 81. We've got a number of number changes here in the yes. early going. Uh, in the last couple of minutes, right before we went live, we had about three or four different number changes that we had to sort out. Lucas Peterson being one of them on our roster is number 52. He's wearing number 81 tonight. Yeah, here's both, on both sides. And here's another one, Jake Pease. Number 10 <coughs> on our roster is number 92, but he gets the first look in on Blake Davis, the Huskies goalkeeper. Blake makes the save as Pease gets the first shot on goal for the black and gold, and the faceoff will come now to the left of Blake Davis. Two and a half minutes into the first period, already 2-0. Huskies with the lead. That's Emmett Johnson taking the draw now for the Chicago Stallions. One by the Huskies, nice pass off the boards. Sends Drakakis in down low as his pocket picked by Henry Poole. Poole's banged Ooh. off the puck. Centering feed underneath the stick there of Drakakis and that comes out the other side for the Stallions. Puck sitting in the neutral zone. Tomcho tries to play it one hand to himself. Stallions able to flip it in deep, and Simpson will have to go back and play it now for the Huskies. Triple teamed. Stallions trying to get some offensive possession here. That was a challenging first 60 seconds for the Stallions. Here comes Zelinski. Zelinski one on five, takes it wide, gets a shot on from a bad angle. Save made by Flynn Walker, thrown up along the far boards, kept in over there by the Huskies in the slot. Near faceoff dot, shot ripped wide of the near post. And kept in nicely right at the point He's by the Huskies. coming in from a change. Yeah, he was. Hustling in from the point there. That was Peterson. Yep, that was, that was Lucas Peterson at that far point. Huskies try the wrap around in the slot. The shot wide of the near post. That right pad save. In the, in the crease, the backhand by Jack Minyard and the save made by Flynn Walker. So a lot of in tight opportunities for the Huskies. They've already scored a couple down low and Flynn Walker's had to be on his toes here in the early going. Yeah, it was good to see though that the Stallions getting a couple chances down to our right there. So it, it hasn't been completely lopsided here. Obviously the Huskies with the two nothing early lead, most of the pressure to our left. Yeah, it really feels like maybe the, the Huskies were ready for an 8.45 start where the yeah. Stallions were ready for that 8.50 start. Yeah, and they're the home team. And they're the home team, yeah. And this is Peterson, loses the puck to Houghton. Houghton back to the point. Shellhas puts it towards the goal. Easy stick save made by Blake Davis. Keeps that stick low to the ice. Stops it in front of him, covers it with the big mitt. And what? he'll take a whistle. I like the idea, though, of Shellhas just getting that puck on net. Yeah. You know, maybe if the rebound kicks out, you have one of your stallion teammates there to pounce on it. We always say, right, put the puck towards the net and good things happen. And yep. when you're down 2 nothing and you've been outplayed, that's what you want to do. Just try to get a good bounce and get yourself on the board. Up ahead now, here's JT Webb. Webb walking around the defense, and he's fended off nicely by Shellhaas, and that gives the Stallions a chance to get it up but not out. 
cleared back in from the point. Left pad saved by Walker into the corner. Slung around the boards. Jack Simpson has it now in the corner. Simpson has his pocket picked and Houghton turns around and bangs it up off the boards to center ice for Webb. Hacked at there. Up into center ice and... Oh, wow. A pile up over there. Brody Beerbaum did not see Logan Dodson. It was about 15 feet inside the offensive zone and that's an easy offsides. Draw will come right here in front of us. It'll be Axel Gray for the Stallions and Lucas Novak for the Huskies on this draw. Novak wins it forward. I like when we get the draws on this side, Aaron. We'll get right on top of them. Yeah, like it. We, we get also, I mean, we talk about this in most, most arenas that we're in. You get so many different angles and views and obviously this being the the practice facility for the Blackhawks, so you get some of the best views and some of the best angles we're gonna get at any of the arenas we're in. Yeah, the height yep. and, the, and the closeness. Sean Furlong takes a shot that's deflected high and wide of the near post. Pease backhanding it up to Nathan Boone. Boone tries to tap it forward. He's able to work it into the offensive zone, but Zach Preisler is there for it. Got more blue jerseys in there right now. Preisler behind his own net. He's hounded, taken there by the Stallions. There's Pease, Pease tries Ooh. the centering feed. Tries another attempt, but Huskies do a nice job of defending that play. Puck behind the net, bounces off the back of the, of the net, and the Huskies are able to flip it out to center ice. This is Cam Wilda, Wilda walking in one-on-one. -on -one. The backhand tried that far post and missed. Huskies, a couple of goals in the first period, Stallions have Kind of evened things up a little bit here. Huskies still have had the better of the play, but Stallions have at least made a game of it. And that shot from the point is Flynn Walker reaches that big mid out aggressively and makes the save rather than letting that puck come to him. He's sticking that glove out so he doesn't have to run the risk of a, a tip or a bouncing puck. Yeah, I think he's passed that initial shell shock of the first two goals in uh, less than a yeah. minute. Yep. So he's... He's settled down here. Yeah, he's looked, he's looked pretty sharp in the last last six minutes. We're about eight and a half left to go here in period one. Puck cleared out. No icing. Giving chase will be Jack Simpson. And Dmitrievich for the Stallions. Huskies have it now. Up off the boards and a potential three on two here. Nice move by the Huskies walking in off sides as Wilda put himself offsides on that feed, passed it over to Mason Hill, and he put himself in offsides. Yep. In the neutral zone, Emmett Johnson got a 51 and 11. Logan Dodson for the for the Huskies and Emmett Johnson for the Stallions. It's back into the Huskies zone and Walker with the right pad. Stolen at the point and not kept in by Ethan Garchik. Tried, came charging in and tried to tip it forward, but that had cleared the blue line. So we'll have another whistle and another offside. So even with those first two goals, it's been a bit of a choppy first period. A lot of whistles, a lot of offsides here in the early going. Just want to go back on that Garchuk offsides. Even though it was an offsides, he did interfere with a potential breakout for beer bomb. So even though they got the offsides, they prevented an offensive rush for yep, the, stout, uh, for the hot, uh, Huskies. Sometimes it's the right play, right? That offsides, it's like when you know a, a cornerback is beat down the field and he just tackles the wide receiver to avoid the touchdown. Right. You know, sometimes the, that's the right play. This is Lucas Peterson up ahead to Beerbaum, one of the goal scorers. Nice feed to Dodson. Dodson takes it wide on the backhand, tries to drive to the net, the backhand, and the save is made by Flynn Walker as that was 51. That was JT Webb on that rebound. And I don't know that Flynn knew where that puck was. No, he didn't. But stayed out of the net, and that's all that matters. It was good to see Amelia Arculano went in there to help out Flynn Walker there, making sure he cleared the crease. She didn't, she wasn't putting up with any guff. No guff, no guff allowed on a Friday night at Fifth Third Arena. Draw to the right now of Flynn Walker. Back to the point. Tom Cho down deep. Backhanded behind the net. That's Novak with it. 
Novak down deep, circles, centering feed the shot, and I don't know if Walker got his blocker on that or if that just went wide, but in the far corner now, it's Dracakis down there with Novak. <laughs> Behind the net, Huskies have it. Centering pass, and that was between the dots. It squirts out, cleared back in deep. Up to the near half board, Zielinski. Down deep. Backhanded up, looking for Pease. Pease tries the self pass. Novak's able to keep it in at the point. He's bumped into by Shellhass. Shellhass has it now. Nice little stick handle, but not able to work through Drakakis. Drakakis is down though. He loses it. Axel Gray up along the boards, kept in again by Zelinski. They'll try the other side. This is Nathan Boone not able to get it out. Huskies going for a change, and finally the Stallions able to clear it out to center ice. Pease hustling after it, but Wilda will be the first one on it. Lays it over to Preisler. Preisler leaving it for Simpson. Simpson backhanded up along the far half boards, tipped forward, and the Huskies walk out to center ice with a pass out of the reach of Cam Wilda. There's Preisler, though. Preisler walking in the shot. Rips it over the far post. He had a lot of space and tried to pick top corner and just missed the top of the net. Preisler this time just clearing it in and Walker will cover up with five and a half left to go. So Huskies playing a very tight first period both offensively and defensively. Stallions, you, you said it, Eric, looks a little shell-shocked in that first minute. We still haven't... Still not playing at the same level of the Huskies, but it's been better. It's right. been better over the over the last nine minutes. Kept in at the point by Furlong. Sean Furlong on the backhand. Kept it in with his right foot. And he's forced out of the zone nicely by Dmitrievich. Here's M McCann. McCann tries to go backhand, forehand, and can't. Huskies now. This is Hill. Mason Hill. Throws it forward to Novak. Novak with the shot, left pad save. Novak now in the corner. Pinned up against the glass by Ori Shear. Kept in there. Shot from top of the faceoff dot into the near, cor far corner rather. There's Minyard again. Minyard walk in, walks in, he's in between the dots. On the backhand, the shot. Save, the puck is loose into the corner. And banging into the boards, Emmett Johnson and Cam Wilda. And that puck is cleared out to center ice. And right now, it looks like the Stallions are just kind of holding on there, just mm -hmm. trying to get that puck out inside the zone. That's been part of the issue, is unable to get clears. Yeah, you, you feel like that third goal is, is kind of almost inevitable here over the next couple of minutes, unless the Stallions can kind of get possession down in, 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 the, in the Husky zone. And... Maybe not get a goal, but just a couple of decent shifts. Gonna turn the momentum around here a little. Here's a good start. Shot from the point, sticked into the corner. That was Henry Poole put that in. Huskies work it out, and again, <laughs> that will clear. And once again, Ethan Garchik, you see this time, Ethan just throws that right <laughs> arm up in the air. Like, every time I touch the puck, it's an offside. <laughs> So you're saying I have to be on the other side of the line. And they're actually say that was an intentional offside, yeah. Eric, because they're going to bring the face off all the way down into yeah. the Stallions' defensive zone here. Three minutes, 53 seconds left. Draw to the right of number 50, Flynn Walker, in the Stallions' black and gold. Zelinski at the point, near half boards with it. Beerbaum walks in. Nice move by Beerbaum, stick handling through traffic. That pack, the puck ends up in the near corner. Banged up and out to the neutral zone, and their arm is up, and that will be an icing. Three and a half now left to go. First period goals, Trestle Tomcho, Brody Beerbaum. Beerbaum scored 19 seconds in, and Tomcho scored at almost exactly the one minute mark. Nothing since. Here's a quick shot in from right off the dot by Lucas Novak. Won the draw. Caught the puck cleanly and was able to get good wood on that one. Forcing Walker to make another save. 
I think that's what we're going to see from Flynn Walker is just holding on. You know, no, no sense giving away the puck here. It's like freeze the puck. You slow the game down. Yep, 100%. No reason to potentially allow a, I don't know, I thought for sure they were going to whistle a, an icing down there. But, yeah, absolutely. Don't, don't allow the rebound. Don't allow second chances. Just you get possession of the puck, put your mitt on it, and get yourself a whistle and a draw. Along the near boards, kept in with that right leg by Jack Simpson. Two skaters to a side now behind the net, centering feed right onto the stick of Nathan Boone. Boone looking for Pease, not able to complete the saucer pass. And there's Jack Simpson now. Simpson mishandles it. And that gives Axel Gray a chance to dump it deep. Backhanded up off the dasher, kept in at the point nicely by Gunnar Goldman. Puck put towards the net, but wide of the, of the far post. That'll give the Huskies a chance to skate out to the neutral zone. That's Tom Cho. Tom Cho walking. T Tom Cho in on a bad angle. Tries the wrap around, but good stick work over there by the Stallions. That was Max Pool number 50, keeping that puck out of the net. Tom Cho had a, had, had a gaping net on that far side if he had been able to get that get his, his wrists twisted and tuck it in. But nice job by Max Pool. Race for the puck here. A couple of 75s. Don't see that very often. John McCann puts the puck through the crease. That's Emmett Johnson bangs it deep. Yeah, this is the uh, high number line for the Stallions. Yeah. Number 97 here, Jack Minyard. Minyard across the blue line with it down deep. Below the red line. Punches it over to the near side now. Behind the net. Wilda. Kept in by Preisler. High slot area, nice move. Get himself some space, the shot off the stick of Mason Hill. Left pad save made by Walker. Just a, a little, just a little dangle. That was a, a baby dangle by <laughs> Mason Hill and he was able to get himself a lot of space and get a clear look. Sometimes you don't need the full blown dangle. Just a little dangle right. is good. There's Hill again, puts that puck up over the net in and out of the glove of Flynn Walker. Yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't know he didn't have it at no. first. No, you're right. He put that glove up, looked like he had caught it, and Preisler now down deep. Behind the net, that's taken away by the Stallions. This, this group's been out there a long time for the Stallions. And they got a number 80 out there on the, on the ice right now for the Stallions, who's not on our roster, so we'll see if we can effort that's that. That's Max Poole. We were told he was 50. I was ro They wrote 50 on my scorebook here. All yeah, right. I think, <laughs> no, that, that's Max Poole. All right, I don't think the jersey says Poole. Because 50 is Flynn Walker. That that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense, but 80 doesn't say Poole. So no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> that absolute, those, those letters don't make up the word Poole. Yes. That was a case where I think he didn't have his jersey. Yeah, probably. Shot wide of the near post over into the far, far corner. You know how kids are with laundry, Aaron. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Puck squirts out of the corner, and the actual number 50, Flynn Walker, covers up with one second left here in the first period. So it looks like we're going to go to the second with the Huskies leading at two to nothing. Now you're going to look from the Huskies here, trying to get a shot on goal right off the draw. Yeah. That's the play here. And they pulled their goalie. Yep. And you'll. Surprised they have the, 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 they almost looked like they had the wrong side center out there. They had the center who had to play it on a backhand. Yeah. You would have thought maybe a, a forehand there to take the shot right off the draw. At any rate, we're at the end of the first period. It is 2-0 Huskies with the lead. The Northern Illinois Hockey League is the largest youth hockey league in Illinois and one of the largest in the country. It is made up of over 50 travel hockey organizations. Almost all the clubs are from Illinois with a few from Indiana, Iowa, Missouri and uh, Michigan and Wisconsin. This is the 54th season of play in the Northern Illinois Hockey League. The NIHO members organization field tier two travel teams that compete in the squirt, peewee, bantam, and midget age groups defined by USA Hockey. The league also offers all girls hockey divisions each season. NIHO will partner with the Chicago Blackhawks to hold the league's NIHO Blackhawks tournament at the conclusion of the season. For more information about NIHO and its programs, please contact Bob after the NIHO president or visit the website 
at nihil.info. The Chicago Blackhawk, Eric, are proud to sponsor the Northern Illinois Hockey League. Did you know that? I, I did. Yes, Hawks fans, be sure to catch these upcoming games. Tomorrow night, the Blackhawks are finally back home and they take on the defending champion, an unbeaten Vegas Golden Knights. 7 p.m. start there. Tuesday the 24th, an original six matchup as the Bruins and the Blackhawks get both of their games out of the way in the first two weeks of the season. The Bruins come to town Tuesday the 24th at 7.30 and then Friday, the Blackhawks travel to, go to Las Vegas to take on the Golden Knights. So Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, home, home, road. Don't miss the Chicago Blackhawks in action. And in between periods there, Eric, we saw the officials down here talking to what you could only assume are the captains for each team. I wonder yeah. what was being said. Yeah, I, I was going to try and poke my head down and see. It was Nathan Boone for the Stallions and Jack Simpson for the Huskies. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I didn't see anything. Yeah, neither did I. Didn't see anything during the period or at the end of the first period that maybe would have led to right. referee intervention. At any rate, we're ready to go here for period two. If I'm not mistaken, we haven't had one power play, right? No, we haven't had a single penalty yet. Yeah, so it's not sure what that was about. This is Jamie Feidler, though. Feidler loses his stick. And the aforementioned Jack Simpson will take control of the puck, play it out to center ice. When the kids go back and watch the replay, they'll know exactly what they'll know the conversation what was about. Yeah, they'll, Just they not know. the announcers. Yeah, they know. <laughs> they know. We had an early offsides. 2-0. Huskies with the lead. Brody Beerbaum 19 seconds in. And then about 40 seconds later, Trestle Tomcho. Huskies really dominated the pace of play in that first period. Stallions looking for just a couple of positive offensive shifts, right? A couple of shifts in the in the neutral zone. Almost walking in there was Emilia Arcaiano, not able to steal the puck. Here is Beerbomb, tries to skate through a couple of defenders, thrown around to the far side where Trace Houghton able to play it up. There is Arcaiano. She'll backhand it forward, but the Huskies take it right back. Cleared in deep. And the Romeoville Huskies, they play Camlin, which is another one of our most traveled destinations, is Canlan Ice Arena down in Romeoville. We haven't been there yet this season, but that's always been one of our our, our most common locations. Yeah, we we did a, a ton of games there over the last couple of years, especially last year. Yep. Uh, especially that first half of the season, it felt like we were out in Romeoville like every other week. Yep. Yep. Well, we, we we tend to spend a lot of time either down south or in Vernon Hills. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's yeah. we're in we're in Crestwood a lot. Yeah. We're in Romeoville a lot. We're in Joliet a lot, and we're in Vernon Hills like every third day. It feels like. Yeah. Well, I like that you're going to be traveling to South Bend next yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Doing a triple header at the Ice Box. I love that place. That'll be our 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 second game of the week broadcast. Looking forward to that as well. Three premier select matchups. In South Bend is that backhand wide of the near post by the Huskies. Dukakis, one on two down low, up along the near boards now. Nathan Boone does a nice job fending off the initial Husky defender, but not able to get through the second layer. Good stick work there by Shellhouse. slot area the bomb from the point by Sean Furlong and wow. I don't know if if Walker was able got a piece of that or not but that was a bomb from the high slot area Furlong got all of it and it wasn't even a full wind up it was just like a like a snapshot almost yep. Husky shot score wow bad angle and everything and that one beats Flynn Walker I believe Jack Simpson at 91 or is it 41? Uh, it's 91. Yeah, it's 91. Yep, it's 91. Jack Simpson with the extra fist bump right there at the <laughs> end. That sort of gave it away. But bad angle shot, Eric. He was on the far side of the far faceoff dot and was able to rip that near side, beating Flynn Walker to give his team a 3-0 lead. And that came, came on the tail end of that shot by Furlong. Mm -hmm. Man. 
Hill now, top of the near dot shot, blocked into the corner. Two and a half minutes gone here in the second. Centering feed, high slot shot score. Giveaway right onto the stick of Mason Hill, and Hill didn't miss that one. He buried it near side, blocker side, stick side, whatever you want to call it, back of the net, four nothing. Well, and that was one was unfortunate because the Stallions were clearing that over at the far corner that hit the referee's skate and never got to their defender along the, the half boards there. Huskies keep it in, and end result is a goal. So four different goal scorers here for the Huskies, Brody Beerbaum, Trestle Tomcho, Jack Simpson, out. Mason Hill, and I think the Stallions are gonna take a quick timeout. So just like in that first period, two goals in rapid succession for the Huskies. They scored two goals in a minute in the first, scored two goals in under a minute here in the second. So high-powered Huskies offense taking advantage of mistakes and unfortunate bounces for the Stallions, and they're up four. Yeah, th this is a good timeout too. I mean, you're trailing by four, so it's not like you're gonna save this for, you know, you, the, you, at this point you have to slow the momentum down of the Huskies. Yeah, and, and you see this a lot, right? A team gets a couple of goals and you, 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 you what you, you, like you said, you're literally, you're just trying to slow the momentum down and, and keep the other team from putting up five, six, seven. Right. And, you know, you talk about what you can do on your next shift, because at this point it is about that next shift. You can't, can't score four goals with one shot. So no. you got to win your next shift. You got to win your next puck battle. And I think that's probably the conversation here. You're not going to get all four goals back at once. So you got to win each battle, win each shift. And it's tough for a Stallions team that's played seven games and they haven't yep. tasted either a tie or a win. And you're down four here in the second. But you got to, like you said, shift by shift. Yep, they've struggled offensively, only 11 goals in those seven games. So, and, and they've played some tight ones. They've only had one or two games that were sort of out of hand. Here's another shot. Nice blocker save this time made by Flynn Walker. And the puck squirts out to the neutral zone. The Stallions have lost games 3-2, three 3-1, to 2-1, to 5-3. To to they've only had really one game, Eric, where they lost by more than three goals. So they've, they've been in most of their contests, but that lack of offense has hurt them as Cam Wilda, a name I've called probably about 30 or 40 times already here through just about a period. A hard shot into the body of Flynn Walker who makes the save for a whistle. Three and a half minutes gone in the second period. Four nothing, Huskies with the lead. Good crowd here, Friday night crowd, you know, it, it does tend to bring out uh, a little more from the uh, yeah. hockey community. Weekend began. Yeah. You know, for me, my favorite like time of the week is Friday between when I end my work day and when I go to bed. Like that window <laughs> is like my favorite time of the week, you know, because it's the longest you have to go before work. Yes. You know, so I can see how most of these people are, you know, they're energized to be here and they're having fun. Yeah. And Ooh, big hit into the corner. No, no whistle called there. I thought there might have been a penalty called. This is 14U, Aaron. You play on. You know, you forget. You know, <laughs> we do we do so many 10 and 12s where where hitting is is not only is it discouraged, it's not allowed. Right. So you, you get up into the 14Us and the the 18, the 16 and 18Us, and you forget that it's part of the game sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Huskies have the puck in center ice now. This is no. Uh, this is Dodson. Excuse me. Dodson put himself in off sides. Lost control of the puck right at the blue line. He went in backwards. Yeah, that's tough when you're the only player on the rush and you put yourself off sides. Yep. Yeah. Probably didn't want to do that. No, didn't want to do that. So this will be Novak against Axel Gray for the Stallions on the draw. It's won by the Huskies. Feathered into the offensive zone. Huskies have it behind the net. Centering feed, nobody home. In the near corner, cleared up but not out. Second, third attempt, and still kept in. Zelinski puts it towards the net. And a beautiful oh. backhand feed there, pass there. 
That was Tom Cho. Tom Cho is really a really skilled young man. Played that puck forehand onto his backhand all in one move. And look at that. When he's done with the play, he untucks his jersey. I appreciate <laughs> it, young man. Untuck the jersey. But, yeah, that was that was a really nice play by Trestle Tomcho down there, almost picking up a second goal of the game. Novak on the draw here for the Huskies. One back to the point. Falling down is Furlong, but he's able to get it in deep. Flipped around into the far corner. Pease mishandles the puck, gets it back. One hands it up to center ice and almost a two on nothing breakaway for the Stallions, but the Huskies turn around and walk right back in. Puck bounces up in the air in between the dots, kicked forward by the Stallions. Played ahead to Boone, Nathan Boone walking in two on one with Pease. Boone with the shot and the save is made by Blake Davis. And I don't think he knows where it is. There it is, right, sitting right there in the blue paint. Smothered it, though. He did. That's the best opportunity of the game for the Stallions. A little two-on-one action. Shooter shoots. And yeah. Davis has to come up with a nice save. And when you're down 4 nothing, it's never a bad idea to shoot. You know, maybe maybe he had Pease open on the other side for a, a clean look. But, you know, when you're down 4 nothing, you just got to get the puck on the net. Right. And so, so not a bad shot there at all by Boone. And it was a hard shot and a good save by Davis. Behind the net. Backhand oh. flipped over the net by Minyard. Tried to pick top corner. Stallions try to work it out. They can't. Seven skaters along the near boards. And it's one down low by Minyard. Minyard low below the red line. Toward the attacking zone. Has his skates taken out from underneath him. No call. Thought there might have been a whistle there for a trip, but... Taken away by Shellhass. Back to the point and directed into the corner this time by Flynn Walker. Collision in that corner. Over to the far side. There's Minyard again. Minyard over to Furlong. Furlong unloads up into the screen. We saw that slap shot earlier. Yeah. This time. Stallion's able to get a stick on it, deflects it up into the net with eight and a half minutes left to go here in the middle frame. Four nothing, Huskies with the lead. Two goals in the first, two goals in the second. This is gonna be Logan Dodson against Amelia Arceano. One by Arceano, kept in by the Huskies. able to get it out that rides the dasher shot here whistles wide of the, of the post by beer bomb Webb down to Dodson there's beer bomb beer bomb loses control loses an edge and here's a chance as the official gets in the way again Eric that was almost <laughs> a clear break in for Max Pool, and it turns into a two on one and it forces Flynn Walker to make a save, but almost a clean breakaway for Max Pool. Shot in, nice left pad save made there by Walker. The puck gets in on Walker Ooh, quick and whistle. quick whistle by the official. As that got in on uh, Walker, it bounced out, but the official had lost track of it, so he blows that whistle and gives the Stallions a fortunate face off. So before that puck was, uh deflected by the referee there. I think that was a case of beer bomb trying to do a little too much there. He sure. had a man open at the line, but he kept stick handling and he wound up stick handling himself outside the zone and, and falling. And that's kind of where you you see a lot of the you know, NHL players. Beautiful oh. glove save, another shot, another save. The puck is loose out in front. That was Drakakis with a couple of whacks at it there, Eric, but a couple of saves made by Flynn Walker. Charging the net, and this time Walker's able to cover up. And, and Eric, you start to see, you know, and in, in, in you, you see in the NHL, this is kind of where the cycle comes in, right? You, yep. You're being forced back towards the blue line. Turn around and dump it in deep, especially right. with a 4 nothing lead. Right. Y you never want to be coming backwards with the puck. Get the puck deep and, and try to get that cycle in or at least your forecheck a little bit. So when you don't do that, that's when, that's when it leads to potential odd man rushes as that's backhanded in to the Huskies bench. So halfway through this hockey game, 
four nothing. Huskies with the lead. They're looking to improve to six and zero oh on the year. While the Stallions looking for their first seeding round victory of the season. They're zero oh and seven. Draws one by the Huskies. They walk forward. It's Furlong backhanded in by Chrysler. Takakis now in that far corner battling with Axel Gray back to the point. Jabbed forward and a potential breakaway here for Nathan Boone. Let's see if he'll have enough space. Boone gets it. But he's down deep. He puts the bad angle shot in, and the save is made by Blake Davis. It just had a little too much on it. You can see a little bit of frustration there from Boone, but he did the best he could with what he had. He just wasn't able to catch up to that one. Do you think Peace was in a position to take the pass? Maybe if, if Boone had known he was there, yeah. you know, but that requires you chasing down the puck and also head up. Head up, or in this case, yeah. head back, right, knowing yeah. where your teammate is. Wilda tries to split the defense. Nice job by the Stallions to work that into the, into the corner, though. And that's one of those things where you pick your head up along the side here to see who's coming with you. Right. You see, you see if you have a trailer there with yep. you. But at that point, I know what Boone was doing. He's like, oh, there's a puck. I'm yeah. going to go get it. There's a puck. I'm going to go get it. If I can get there early enough, I can get a clean shot. But by the time he, by the time he got to it, he was at the red line yeah. and just had to kind of play horizontally towards the goal and nothing doing. Still a puck on net though, so. Yeah, yeah. Boone's had a couple of opportunities here in the second. Centering feed, puck hops up into the high slot area. And the Stallions one-handed out. Minyard will be the first one there. It's played by Dmitrievich. Back to the points. And Jack Simpson plays it over to Gunnar Goldman. Goldman clears it in, but offsides. Can just didn't get out of the zone in time, was trying. Logan Dodson and Amelia Archeano on the draw here right in front of you. Draws one by the Huskies. Chrysler, D to D up in the middle. And the Stallions will play it behind their net. That's Ori Shear along the near boards. Looking for Jamie Feidler. It's kept in at the point now by Chrysler. Chrysler smartly just clears it in deep. Dodson behind the net on the backhand. And that's what you like to see right there, Eric. Dodson going up along the near half boards and then dumping it in deep. Maintains possession for his team. Down low, there's Preisler again. Finds Dodson. Dodson loses an edge, and Feidler will pick it up. The hard pass up to Houghton, not able to corral it, and Trace has to play it down low. He bangs hard into the backboards. Arcaiano in that near corner now. Two to a side, and the Huskies will walk out with it. They're able to get it out to the neutral zone. Feidler gains the red line, dumps it in deep, goes for a change. McCann, the first one on it, hustles into that corner. Arcaiano and, and, and McCann down there for the Stallions. Dodson now feeds it out to JT Webb. Webb one-on-one, -on -one. good stick work by the Stallions to keep that puck out of harm's way. Webb with the aerial backhand saucer pass as Jake Pease had Nathan Boone, and he saw Nathan stick tapping, trying to get Pease's attention, but Jake couldn't get that puck elevated and get it cross ice. Shot goes wide by Novak, wide of that far post. Yeah, he had that side wide open, just couldn't tuck it in. Out in the center ice now, Huskies take control, 340 left to go at period two. To Novak. Novak with plenty of space. Feeds it cross ice. Drop pass. Dangerous drop pass. Walking in is Jake Pees. Pees to Boone. Boone in. Shot. The save made at the point. Shellhaus back it to Boone. And that's three chances for Nathan Boone here in the second period. You feel like he's going to get one eventually. 
but he's had a couple of clean break-ins. That one was A grade yep. opportunity. Yep. And a nice save again by Davis. Yeah, almost felt like maybe Boone was thinking a little too much on that shot, and he put it right into the belly of Blake Davis. Usually you see a, uh, usually you see a, a pick top corner. Hard shot score, wide open net, the bomb, and it's 5-0. I believe that's Hill, that yep. will be Mason Hill. That's his second goal of the game, and it's a five-goal cushion here for the Huskies. And that's tough for the Stallions because you just had a great eight chance yeah. to our left, unable to capitalize, and then the Huskies come down on the other end, and Hill pots his second. And he just wound up for that slap shot, and all he had to do was hit a, a gaping net. Yep. Huskies looking for another here as we're under three. That's Minyard. Minyard in, shot squirts out. It's sitting in the near faceoff dot at the point, kept in over there. Shot blocked into the corner by Max Poole. Minyard loses it, high slot area now. That's Wilda over into the near corner. Behind the net with it is Max Poole now, up along the far boards. Flipped out, kept in really nicely at that point by Zach Preisler. Another shot here for the Huskies up over the net. And Furlong now being manhandled back into his own zone. Good stick work again by Max Poole. And there's Novak behind the net, one-handing it. Or excuse me, that's no. Excuse me, that's Wilda, number 45. Furlong shot deflected, put down by Minyard. He loses an edge as he goes for the shot. Hill now behind the net to Wilda. Wilda again, so strong. The shot, I don't think that got in. I think that hit a hit a leg pad on the way in, deflected into the far corner where Zelinski plays it. Zelinski looking for Wilda, pass deflected out of the zone, and the Huskies will have to touch up. Cross ice pass intercepted, but then taken right back. Put into the offensive zone. Break in here for JT Webb, the shot, and I think Walker got a piece of that, Eric, and deflected it into the near corner as we're down to the last 62 seconds here in the second period. Webb centering feed off the stick of Dodson, who was all alone in the crease. And eventually the puck finds its way into Flynn Walker. So that was almost number six. That was a pretty feed from JT Webb to Logan Dodson. And Logan just sort of healed it a little bit. Yeah, you can get it up square and Walker able to cover up. Face off will be to the left of Flynn Walker. 57 seconds left to go in period two, five nothing. Dodson on the draw, wins it to Webb. Webb back to the point to Simpson. Simpson shot as Dodson got a piece of it, deflected it wide. He has it now below the red line. Puck is back, and this is Trace Houghton. Tries to pass up ahead to Feidler. Big oh. collision at center ice between Arcaiano and Brody Beerbaum. And it looked like Brody had something to say to Amelia after they both got up. They both bounced right back up. the near half boards, two blue jerseys, three yellow jerseys. It's slung, al slung al around to the far corner. JT Webb behind the net. Arcaiano, the puck's starting to get caught up in that snow along the boards a little bit as they don't clean the ice here in between periods. Shot oh. in, beautiful save, rebound, and another great wow. save by Flynn Walker. Two hacks at it there by I believe that's Ryan Zielinski, number 71. It was Zielinski standing all out in front by himself. And first was a left pad save, the second was a glove save. Yeah, that pad save though was ridiculous. I mean, I know the score is five nothing, but mm -hmm. still Walker's in there fighting. He sure is, two great saves on number 71 is that'll be the end of the second period and the Huskies have thoroughly dominated the first 30 minutes of this one, it is five to nothing. The Chicago Blackhawks want to remind you that the Chicago Blackhawks intermission and junior Hawks pregame skates are now available for select dates this season. Contact Ben Osler at 312-455-7096 to register your teams today. Hi, Ben. Hey, Ben. How's it going? 
All Nye Hill teams have started their seasons. The youth divisions are in their last week of the seeding round games. That's what you're watching here. Most girls divisions are already playing their regular season games. Each team is working to collect the points that will help them earn a place in the league's end of season. Nye Hill Blackhawks tournament. Keep your eye on the Nye Hill .info website and the Nye Hill Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages for news about upcoming broadcasts of Nye Hill games. Our next broadcast will be tomorrow morning. So we're going to pack up, and then tomorrow morning, 10, 10 a.m., the Chicago Hawks A5 host the Irish Rovers A2 in a Pee Wee Bronze seeding round game. Tune in on the Stream Sports Midwest YouTube channel. I'll be flying solo for that one, and then I'm going to pack up from Darien, get the gear in the car, and I'm going to head down to Crestwood. That's right. Go down to the Southwest Ice Arena in Crestwood, and we're going to do, so, do some double header in a couple of different rinks. Yep. And then we'll be back at Crestwood on Sunday. Sunday morning, yep. Yeah. So back-to-back -back days. So if you're a fan of St. Jude hockey, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, Stream Sports Midwest YouTube channel is where you want to be. We'll get a couple of games for you. We got one more period left to play, 5 nothing. And I wonder, I'm not sure what the, 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 the process is, but we might see a running clock here in the third with a 5 nothing lead. I don't know if it's five or six goals. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. We'll find out I guess right off the we bat. will find yeah. out. Yes, we will. Team switch sides. We need a like a rules analyst to come on. Yeah, you know? yeah. We need our own. What's his name? Uh, the the uh, the guy with the NFL guy in the NFL who. What's the, what's the guy? I can't think of his name now. Oh, I know. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah you, everybody well, knows, yeah. Well, they have, like, every network has one now. I think it's, like, Terry McCollum or something on uh, former, Sunday night. Former referees. We need to get a yeah. former Nihil referee yes. in here. P's walking in with oh. the one hand. P the shot behind the net, from behind the net goes through the crease. Yeah, we need a former Nihil referee to be here on <laughs> call for us to help us with some of, these, uh, some of these rules that we're unaware of. We'll bring him in, like, on a Zoom call. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That'll work. We can put him in the lower right-hand corner yes. of, of the broadcast here, and, and we could do that. I'll do the Chris Collinsworth. I'll disagree. Yeah, just, to, just because. Yeah, right. Whatever he says, you, you think the opposite. That's, that's <laughs> fair. In the near corner, two skaters to a side. Stallion's able to bang it out to center ice, and Pease, a ton of speed. Here comes Jake Pease. Nice stick lift at the last minute by Zach Preisler as Pease was walking in. A lot of speed from number 10, Jake Pease, but a really good back check and a good stick lift by Zach Preisler. Yeah, Pease has had a good start to this third period here. He had that uh, early opportunity and then coming down there, but it was just a nice poke check by the Huskies. And to answer the question, yes, we have a running clock here in the third period. Here we go. It's 5 nothing Huskies with the lead. They have the puck. This is Ryan Zielinski. Drop pass for... Drakakis, oh. the puck is sitting loose in the slot. Shot, another save made by Walker. He closed those pads quickly, had yeah, to stick down. That was he looked really confident on that save, didn't text, he? Textbook fundamentals yep. on that one by Walker. Yep. Butterfly-ish as he dropped to his knees and kind of flayed those legs. Yep. Huskies with another chance, another shot, and another save by... Walker again off of Jack Simpson. So Jack with a couple of chances here in the first minute or so of this third period. And Flynn Walker's given up five goals, Eric, but he hasn't looked bad. He's, no. he's made a, a, a number of difficult saves for his team here. So he's looked, he's looked really sharp. And even though he hasn't faced a ton of shots, Blake Davis, when he has had to, he's looked strong in that as well. Yeah, he's, he's faced a breakaway. He's faced a two-on-one, and he was yep. able to stop them both. Arkeano up along the near half boards. Punched back deep by Furlong. Down low, Bierbaum. Bierbaum double team behind the net. Picked up by Dodson. Dodson loses it to Feidler. Feidler able to sweep it out to center ice. He'll try to give chase. He gets there. Cross oh. ice pass looking for Houghton. Just out of his reach. Houghton gets the <laughs> shot. And on his back, Blake Davis able to make the save. Wow. A lot going on there. Feidler just misses Houghton on the two-on-one. Trace got the puck in a terrible angle. Down in the corner, a turnaround, no-look slap shot. Blake Davis was down on his back and makes the save. Yeah, 
Weaver just mentioning his name, and that was that was a thing of beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Unorthodox. Unorthodox, right? Dominic Hoshik esque, yes. right? Just flopping around <laughs> yes. and doing what you got to do to keep the puck out of the net. Here's Brody Beerbaum. He scored 19 seconds in, gets the shot, and Flynn Walker makes himself big, makes the save. The puck comes loose, though, flipped towards the net, the bouncing puck, and this time Walker's able to make the save. And our first minor kerfuffle. Kerfuffle, fracas, if you will. Yes. Yeah. We're going to get that. Yeah, as each age group we go up here in Nye Hill, that'll yep. happen. Yep. And we're going to get those matching penalties here yeah. as, as the officials are having no part of that. And that's well done, I think, by the officials. Things can get out of hand in a 5 nothing game. And officials aren't having anything to do with that. So that's Beer Bomb and Henry Poole for the Stallions. So 43 in yellow, 3 in blue, both going to the box for kerfuffling <laughs> with 10.50 left to go in the third period. I believe that is the official penalty. I believe now. so, yeah. Haven't seen the actual hand signal for it, right. but I think that's what it's actually called. This is Gunnar Goldman. Gets the puck out to center ice. Ooh, 10 minutes. Yeah, they put up a 10 minute misconduct on Brody Beerbaum. I wonder if maybe Stick got up in that in that uh, that after the whistle, I'm not I didn't sure. see I didn't it's see anything that that really that screamed misconduct to me. But yeah, beer bombs in the box for ten. So now the re officials going over to the scorekeeper. Let's see if they change that. But yeah, he's it's listed up there as a ten minute as a ten minute misconduct. But then what's the penalty on Henry Poole? Maybe they each got two minutes for roughing and then and then Beer Bomb got 10 for something else. Maybe he said something to an official? Yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, there wasn't anything on the ice to me that screamed a misconduct. So you have to think maybe it was something that was said. He said one of those magic words Could, and yeah. got, him an extra, got him an extra 10. As Pease tries to get around the defense, but good one-on-one -on -one defense down low by Preisler. And Zach Preisler has been fantastic on the blue line today for the Huskies offensively and defensively he's been outstanding yeah, I a hundred percent he's interrupted as I interrupt you that's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah offensively and defensively he's done a nice job helping his offense get started he's created opportunities and then you saw right there that one-on-one -on -one against a speedy Jake P is able to just knock him off the puck and take it away so I'm not sure, is Henry Poole out already? Uh, I can't see that far, and I don't want to fall off the edge. So yeah, He was standing up the whole time in the box. Uh, maybe he's sitting down there. I don't he know. He could be sitting down. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't see him from my angle, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. The shot, oh. and oh, <laughs> nice glove save Woo. by Flynn Walker. And that, I mean, that's reactionary, right? Because yeah. he's waiting for the tip. He's waiting for the screen and flash that glove at the last minute. He kept that out of the puck, but again, that was Zach Preisler, Eric, on that low, hard shot from the point. He's going to get another opportunity here, but smartly just dumps it in deep. Really like what I'm seeing from Zach Preisler for the Huskies. Here comes Emmett Johnson. No, Poole is getting ready to come out of the box now, so okay. he was actually sitting down. Tom Cho, here's another talented young man, Tom Cho. Trying to skate through the defense and can't. Puck in the high slot area, one-handed up. McCann able to get it out to the neutral zone. Oh. Tom Cho just, you saw him stretch. He yeah. tried to do the splits to get uh, to get back in. And, and Beer Bomb's going over to his bench. And he's staying on the ice, even though he's still up on the board with a seven-minute penalty. So I'm... I'm guessing that may have just been a misfire on the scoreboard because yeah, he's back be. out on the ice. So it may be, again, just offsetting minors. Yeah. Either that or there's some new rules in uh, Premier Select that I'm yeah. unaware of. Home, hometown scoreboard <laughs> is what that was. <laughs> hometown scoreboard. Another offsides. We're down to 740 here in a running clock third period. 5 nothing Huskies with the lead. Two goals from Mason Hill, one each for Brody Beerbaum, Trestle Tomcho, and Jack Simpson. 
Two goals in the first minute of this game really set the tone, Eric. It was really from the very, from the first shift for the Huskies, they sort of asserted that dominance right off the bat, and they haven't let up at all. No, they have not. Flipped forward, Arkeano will have a chance. Here's the shot Ooh. from Arkeano in and out of the mitt of Blake Davis, but he's able to cover up for a whistle. Yeah, that was a late poke there by Arquilano after the puck was frozen. Drive in the net. Yeah, that was maybe after the whistle, though. Maybe a little late. Yeah. Maybe a little late. I'm sure. I know Davis didn't take kindly to that. Arkeano will take the draw here. Turnaround shot by Feidler into the corner. She's been good in the dot. Puck is loose in the slot, and almost right on cue, Arkeano almost punches one home. That comes out, and the Huskies now take it wide. That's Beerbaum. Beerbaum in, driving the net off the post and out. I, that may have been in, Eric. From this angle, that looked like it hit the inside of the post and came out, but it's going to be play on. I'm going to have to take a look back at that one later tonight and see what I see, but that looked like that hit the inside of the near post. Zelinski in, shot, oh. blocker save, almost in self-defense yes. by Flynn Walker. Stuck that blocker up in front of his mask to make yeah. the save. That was quite the shot. Yep, that was Ryan Zelinski rifling off the wrist shot, and Flynn Walker, reactionary, stuck that, that right arm, the big blocker, right up in front of the mask, knocked it straight down and covered up. Puck back to the blue line. Here's Pease again, not able to corral it. And Preisler. Preisler, nice little jump step. The shot, the feed, and not able to knock it home was Wilda. There's Hill looking for the Hattie. Hill throws it through the slot. Back to Preisler. Preisler, nice little self pass. Walks in on the near faceoff dot. Rips the shot off. Another save made by Flynn Walker. And they're not keeping track of shots on goal here, Eric, but that's got to be 25, 30 saves yeah. for, for Flynn Walker here in this one. Yeah, it, it feels like it. It's, it's, he's it's been, been a heavy peppering. Yeah, he's been under siege all night. It's it's the kind of the, the, the stereotypical shooting gallery, right? Yeah. Like he's that he's that duck on the uh, the assembly line at a at a at a carnival. And you another know. one there from Hill. Yeah. Just taking pot shots at him all night and sticks this one away from Minyard. Minyard has it. And Minyard's knocked down by Ethan Garchik. Puck gets underneath Cam Wilda. First one on it will be Nathan Boone, though. Boone has got Pease, tries to play it around the defense. Pease has it. Backhanded into the corner. We've seen this a couple of times where Nathan Boone and Jake Pease have come down two on one, three on two, and just not able to not able to finish. That time though, Boone had his head up and was looking at Pease. Yep. So that was, uh, was you know, a, a good step there in terms of uh, recognizing that you have help. And it was it was just it was good back checking defense by yeah. the Huskies and Hill takes it wide. He's looking for his third. The shot in. Easy glove save. It gets away. Off the post again wow. and out. This time by Minyard. Holy Same cow. post. And that one bounced all the way back to the blue line. So a couple of near post helpers. Simpson from the point. That one wide of the far post. Nobody over at that far point. Out to center ice. And worked forward to McCann. McCann not able to play it on the first attempt. Gets it here. Clears it as far as the blue line. And Simpson will come down one on four. Loses it to McCann. Thrown forward for Dmitrievich. We're under three minutes here in the third. Five nothing. You know the Stallions are pressing here. They want to get at least one goal here. Yeah, finish strong, right? Tom Cho. Tom Cho not able to play it. He he's able to get it on the second attempt. Nice little self-pass. Tom Cho walks in and tried to A-frame and 
that right le left leg just sort of came out from underneath him, and that allows the Stallions to retake possession. And Emmett Johnson now one on one with Zelinski. Shot over the net. Johnson's second shot deflects behind the net, where Furlong will play it. Furlong has it knocked away. Houghton plays it deep and he'll give chase. Lucas Novak, the first one there along the near boards. Scoots off the stick of Feidler and the Huskies. Self pass out of the zone is Tomcho. Beerbaum takes it wide, gets around the defense. Tom, uh, Beerbaum walks in on the backhand, the shot, the save, and I think the score. Are they, are they, yeah. They, yeah, they're going to say that was in. So that was. It was Lucas Novak on the rebound, Eric, kind of just putting the icing on the cake, the exclamation point, the mustard on the hot dog, whatever you <laughs> want to call it. It's 6 nothing Huskies. Yeah, and that was after a sequence where the Stallions had some good zone time. Um, shots sailed over the crossbar, so nothing really on net, but they were getting some presence there trying to – crack that scoreboard here, but the Huskies turn around and get a goal on the other end. Yeah, and, and I think what you're seeing is we had a two-on-one here for the Huskies shot near, tried to pick near corner. Pass now up ahead to Houghton. Trace Houghton walks in, and Houghton with the open net, and he's able to bury it. So Blake Davis came out to play the puck, hustling out to play the puck. Houghton able to get around the Blake, get around Blake Davis and pick up a goal in the third period. So talk about picking up one, feeling good about yourself as this one ends. Yeah. And Trace Houghton gets that, gets that one on the board here for the Stallions in the final minute. And what I was about to say is, is you're seeing, really you're seeing a difference between a team that, that, that is struggling to finish in the Stallions and a team that really isn't in the Huskies. The Huskies have had a number of opportunities and when they've had those odd man rushers or they've had those open nets or they've had those A grade opportunities, they're finding the back of the net. Yep. So you know how to finish. So the Huskies will improve to six and O. Oh. They will um, remain atop the division here is in the crease area with 12 seconds left and the Stallions will fall to O oh and eight. It'll be a 6-1 final here from 5th 3rd Arena between the Stallions and the Huskies. And that'll do it here from 5th 3rd. 6-1 Huskies with the victory. And really right off, right out of the shoot, Eric, right? That first shift, the Huskies established that dominance. And they were the better team today. Yeah, they definitely were. Let's see, we got a player going off the ice there. Not sure what that's about. I don't know, but we get the best tradition in sports, which is the post-game handshake. So we're going to end it there. So your final score here from Fifth Third Arena, Husky 6, the home Stallions 1. We'll be back live tomorrow, 10, 10 a.m. from uh, Darien for some bronze Nye Hill action for my partner, Eric Loy. My name is Aaron Schellen. We'll talk to you tomorrow, 10, 10 from Darien, 6-1. Huskies with the win here tonight. Enjoy the rest of your Friday night.